The idea of a God spot in the brain can be traced back to the 17th century philosopher René Descartes, who believed that the pineal gland was the seat of the soul. Today, many neuroscientists agree that there is no single part of the brain that is responsible for spirituality, religion, or a connection to God. How all the parts of the brain and body work together is vastly important to our faith. The attempt to connect religiosity or spirituality to a specific brain area has taken many forms. In the last several decades, there has been speculation of a God gene, God neuron, or God module in the brain. The researcher Michael Persinger even believed that he could create a God helmet to simulate a religious experience by stimulating the temporal lobes with a weak electromagnetic wave. While there are many specific areas of the brain that help us relate to a sense of ultimate reality that you can learn from more about on this YouTube channel, it's a misconception to isolate religiosity and spirituality to one brain area. Rather than a single spot, some authors such as Kelly James Clark or Justin Barrett talk more about a God faculty that allows us to contemplate and relate with ultimate reality. It's also important to remember that the faculty to make sense of the universe as well as our relationship to it involves more than our individual brains. Our collective knowledge of science and language also help us better understand ultimate reality. Rather than present an abstract argument about a God faculty, I invite you to use your faculty to reflect on ultimate reality to question some of the latest scientific and philosophical arguments. I invite you to ponder this. It's generally accepted that the conditions for the emergence of life in the universe, such as gravity, strong and weak nuclear forces, the ratio of matter to antimatter, and stable elements heavier than helium are exquisitely improbable. The cosmological constant, or of how fast the universe is accelerating outward, is known within the scientific community as lambda. According to Dr. Michael Gillen, former ABC News science editor and Harvard physics professor, the chance of lambda having precisely the value necessary for life is one in a trillion, 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 trillion. With that in mind, it is more than probable that our universe was purposefully created, considering how improbable it is. But to deny our universe is purposely created, many atheists have turned to believing in a multiverse that contains an infinite number of universes to try and logically explain our unimaginable fortune. The idea of a multiverse has been extremely popular lately, especially in superhero and science fiction movies. Even though, scientifically, a multiverse is only a possibility. Scientists such as Neil deGrasse Tyson have postulated that beings from other dimensions might be able to cross over into our world. But to believe in an infinite number of universes where beings from other universes might possibly cross over into ours logically makes room for the possibility of some form of God. If a thousand years from now humans learned to travel across a multiverse or somehow master time travel, they would appear godlike. Contemplating that we could traverse the multiverse opens the possibility that another entity could do the same into our universe. And if another entity could cross over, why not an entity that is infinitely loving and powerful? To argue for an infinite multiverse, it becomes logically possible, if not probable, that there is an infinitely loving and powerful being that can cross through a multiverse. The invitation to ponder all this is absolutely not to convince you of a multiverse or that God snuck into our universe from another dimension, but rather to invite you to use your own God faculty to make sense of ultimate reality. We may not agree on what ultimate reality and truth are, but perhaps through the extreme wonder and improbability of our universe, we can agree to strive to find more purpose, meaning, and most especially, more love together.